everybody, I'm Sarah from Food Lovers Life and I wanted to do a quick technique video. I'm going to be doing some stretching folds and coil folds and then I have a more advanced look here to teach you the move on method. So first, let's get going. Um, I'm going to mix my auto lace and my leaven for the robot method and then I can show you um, some stretch and folds and coil folds. All right, let's go. So first let's work on the revive method and this is an intermediate dough by Tim Passmore and um, it's using some multi-grains And so uh, the Rabat method is just a method of mixing this in order to make sure that we get extensibility and spring in our dough um, because sometimes the multi-grains just need a little bit more working. So this is my leaven. So with the robot method, what we're going to be doing is kind of pulling the dough and slapping it against the, um, the edges of the bowl here. First we want to take our dough, this is our auto lace that's mixing in with our leaven, and I'm just going around the edges and scooping up towards the center until most of that leaven is covered up. Then we're going to start the robot. Uh, style of mixing. Again, this is just working together the whole grains just to make sure it develops enough extensibility in the dough. This is an optional step for an intermediate loaf, but this is one that I've really come to like. So basically, we're going to pull it up and we're going to stretch it. Pull it out and stretch it. Just getting it back and flipping it towards the back of the bowl. Doing it a little bit slow here for you. And then what I'll do is get my towel so my bowl isn't sliding around. And then basically, this is how we're going to be working it. But you can see. We're stretching the dough, but we're not ripping it. It's gonna get you nice and strong. And you'll do this for two or three minutes until you feel like it's completely incorporated. And I feel like we're there. So now I'm gonna add the salt. Now in my beginner sourdough recipe, uh, and video, I added the, the leaven to the auto lace and the salt at the same time. And for this one, for this intermediate loaf, we added the salt separately. Sometimes people feel that salt, you add salt directly to leaven, it can uh, sort of retard the wild yeast, and it doesn't perform as well. Now, when I wrote my beginner sourdough recipe and I did the video, I intentionally added the salt in with the leaven. I've done it so many times and really there's not, for beginners that's not that big of a difference, I don't think. But for a more intermediate loaf, and we're using different flours, especially whole grains, we want to make sure that that yeast, that wild yeast, we give it every opportunity to perform the best it can. So we're not going to add the salt at the same time we add the leaven. We mix it for a few minutes and then we add it. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but the consistency here is starting to change. It's becoming a smoother dough. Now, this is the loaf, Tim's uh, baker's percentages the more advanced loaf doing the robot method. My other two loaves are my beginner recipe and you have seen me work that dough in my beginner video. And I'm not going to use the robot method on that. All I'm going to do 
is dump in the leaven. I've got my leaven here. Got two loaves. I'm just gonna dump in my leaven and my salt and mix it. So you don't need to see me do that part because I'm already on video doing that. I'm gonna begin the loaf. All right, so I feel like this is, this is there. Um, so I'm gonna wanna scrape this down. The dough is getting kind of shiny and smooth and elastic. My salt is completely incorporated. And we got that. I'm gonna put a shower cap on this and I'm going to let it rest for 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our first, I'm gonna do a coil fold on this one. And in the meantime, I'm gonna mix up my other two and then I'm gonna see how to do stretch and folds um, on the other two and also a little bit different type of coil fold there. Okay, that's it, thank you.